Hello guys, shall we here playing more Song of Horror and in my last video, basically uh, three seconds after I stopped recording it, Daniel died. So yeah, the creature got us and now I had to play the whole game yet again and now we have uh, Erika alive and well and hopefully we'll get to see her story when she finishes the chapter, hopefully, and says where her father or grandfather, I don't know yet, is. Now, if my calculations are correct, I have done everything up to this point. Uh. And we should be able to go inside and do the same thing that we did with Daniel. Hopefully not exactly the same thing, but, um, you know, everything except dying. According to the guide that I just like skimmed over, I have to go the opposite direction that is not um, uh, that is not going to the exit. So the okay. opposite direction to the exit, and I always see whether I'm able to follow the bloody trail. And I always need to have one of these rooms in mind because these rooms are where I get uh, to hide basically from the creature. There's nothing. Okay, I cannot leave them behind doors. That is a um, good. Bloody trail. That way. So I know that there is one room there where I can run to. That way. No room here. Oh, come on. What if I need a room to hide? What about this one? Nope. Okay, this one. I can hide here. Have that in mind, okay? Um, nothing here, okay. But let's remember it. It is right here in the middle of the corridor. Good. Okay, this way. Okay. Okay, here another room to hide. Good. Oh, here I can hide perfectly. Good. Okay, I don't want to go too far away from this room. Okay. The thing is coming. Okay, she went in. Okay, lock the door. Mini game. They really make it so that the door gets like all over you. Holy crap. Am I going completely insane? It really looks like you're about to lose. Eesh. Okay, I think I think we're okay. Okay, okay. We're okay now. I hope. I can always be mistaken. Now. Come on. Wait, need to go this way, right? Shh. Uh. 
Uh, I don't like this. Okay, wait. They're that way, right? Because... Yep. Come on. Okay. Am, am I heading correctly? Is this what I needed to do? I don't hear anything. I think we're okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, really? Nah. It's closed. Wait, is it close? Should I hide? Huh? I don't know, the music is like stressing me, I don't know No idea, man. Okay, I, I was just making sure. Uh, not that way, huh? Okay, what do I do now? The thing is closed. Hmm. This way, the thing stops. Perhaps here? Is that sound supposed to be like the creature is coming? I don't know. Okay. Really? What happened? I have no idea guys, so... The creature came and now there is nothing. Am I free to explore again?
should go there somehow. And also now, now that the music is not that loud, I can um. Really? Come on. Come already. Yep. I don't get it. So, now what? Am I supposed to die? Is this open now? Nope. So every time I go that way, the creature comes and it tries to kill me. Maybe I have to backtrack a bit? Maybe this way? Ah, uh, door, door, door. Come on. Come already. Oh, is this a... Uh, okay. I don't get it. So, basically, when I find one of these doors, I have to wait a bit, then move a bit, until the thing comes, and then I'm free to explore again. Come on, am I going the right way? Here. Huh? 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 Hmm. Will the music stop if I just stay in the room for a bit? I don't think so. Yeah, I have to go outside, wait for the thing, and then come to this room. Oh, it, is, it isn't here, right? Off in the courtyard. Oh no, I'm go am I gonna die here? Well, at least, at least we know where we will have to go in the next chapter. What? Okay, so 
his office must be his apartment, right? Okay, how do I get out? No music box here, okay. Okay, guys. Time to get out of the whole place. Hopefully not dying while trying. Yeah, let's just follow the exit signs. Oh, how do I do? How do I know where to hide? I cannot use the this thing anymore. Really? Okay, this is a cutscene. Oh. Come on. What the? Bloody hell. What just happened out there? Oh. I don't know, but don't let go of the crowbar. Dad, I hope you're in the office and you're not dead. Did he say dead or dad? I hope you're not dead. Um, okay, guys, that, that was a bit stressful, but we're out of there. We are alive all of my characters are alive so even if i lose erica which hopefully i won't and also why is she still wearing the the light on her um she seems to be like incredibly stressed look at her she's gonna go insane um hopefully oh the the blue light is creepier Hopefully we will not die in the last part because I am assuming that the chapter is ending now. It just remains to be seen what happened to him in the door where you can only hear the um, dangling of a rope. What do you think happened? Of course, the obvious thing to say would be that he hanged himself and he's dead. However, maybe the creature made it before him. Um, it was kind of creepy that he said that Let's everybody will be there, though. Okay. Cuts him. Oh no! No! Dad! Dad! I know that we died twice in this chapter, and I had to replay it many times with different characters. That was father. God. Don't even want to think about what must have happened in his final moments. As he was hanging from that noose with the bloody music box on the table neck. I don't want to think about it, but somehow, very deep within me, I know the song was playing throughout his agony, stalking him to the very frontier between life and death. God. At least we had found the music box, and we knew where it came from. The Grant Amersburg auction, it said, on the list of product lots, alongside an address. According to Hasha, things had improved after returning the box to Faba. So by returning it to its owner, perhaps we might be able to solve all this. It sounded unlikely, but considering my hallucinations, the things we found at the antique shop and Mr. Faba's terrible end, if it could all come to some good, we had to try it. Isolated far from the world, in a holiday manor that must be about 100 years old, the lady who owned the sinister box awaited us. For my little Ariadne read the engraving on the inside of the cover. Good for her then. I was about to say that I was happy that Erika was the one to found her father and the box, but. Apparently we still get the narration from Daniel. Do you think that someone could actually live in this place? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? Okay, at least we, we get to see Erika with Daniel. Place. Hello? Are you Miss Legrant? Ariadne Legrand? Amsburg. Pardon me? Legrand Amsburg. It's hyphenated. 
Oh. Really? Well, my name is Daniel Neuer, and I work for a publishing firm. Through a series of chance occurrences, I found something I believe is yours. It seems crazy, but when you listen to it, that's its box. Um, no, I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says... I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Lawyer. She looks creepy. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened to it. Oh. Who was she talking to? That's what I was thinking. Let's get out of this place. Absolutely. I'm glad we got rid of that thing. Me too. I'm sorry it wasn't in time to... I know. Thanks. Come on. I'll take you to the shop. So, I wonder what interactions there are if Erika dies that same night. Thanks for giving me a place to stay. I think the walls would come closing in on me if I were alone. It's no trouble, Dan. You're going to be paying for any pizza, though. Of course. You can sleep in your bed. I'll stay here on the couch. Thank you, Your Majesty. Have a good rest, Sir Daniel. You too. So that was the girl, the woman, who was in the hospital after the first episode. What? Hey, Lydia? Oh no. Same thing is happening. Daniel, are you alright? She had the creepiest way of a... Been a nightmare. I was awake. For certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like... Like those described by father in his letter. Shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer, but his whereabouts was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents he was researching, delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time, my life depended on it. Oh, so I didn't think that Sebastian Husha would come back to the to the plot. I thought we just gave him for dead because we were in his house in the first chapter. In any case, episode three will be called a twisted trail. I wonder. I wonder how twisted this game is. I thought it was very linear in a way that um, they would give us another S scenario. With um, uh, with the previous owners of the of the box, I guess the creepy woman we return into. Anyway, guys, please check my social media in the description, my other videos, and see you next time.